um, this week and next week are going to be the last weeks of this project. So you're going to spend time uh, finishing your paper mache, making sure there is at least two layers at minimum. The more layers you have, the harder your surface will be, which will be good for structure and being very sturdy. Um, so you want to finish your paper mache, and then you also want to start and finish your painting for your volcano. So make sure you, um, you get to do that as well. Presentations will be on November 30th um, on here on Zoom. So make sure it's all finished by then, and you can take this next week for break um, to do anything you'd like. Um, one thing I'd like to talk about is the eruption because that's also what you guys will be doing in the next two weeks as well, you guys. So I'm going to give you a recipe for the eruption. This is not going to be for everyone. Um, if you have a smaller, like if you used a water bottle and your entire volcano is as big as the water bottle, you'll probably need more than this. If you did half a water bottle, this would probably Actually, you'd probably need less. So you're going to become scientists as a family and do lots of trial by error. If you used a really big like liter bottle, you'll probably need some more. So this is where these wonderful little containers, containers are going to come in so handy. The clear one, it's not water. Please don't try to drink it. It's vinegar. <laughs> uh, the one with white powder in it is baking soda. And, and then this orangey red one is soap. You can go back to this recipe, but really just kind of make it your own. Um, it's going to be anywhere from three to six tablespoons of um, baking, baking soda. soda. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. Baking soda. Um, and then if you want it to be extra foamy, you would use more baking soda. Uh, two ounces of paint, which is you can put as much as you want and you can use this paint or any paint that you'd like, but you want it to be liquid paint um a teaspoon of dish soap so whatever measurement you end up doing for the baking soda um you're gonna put less uh dish soap because it will get bubbly unless you want it to get really bubbly then you can experiment with that and see how much you'd like to put and then for this specific uh recipe it calls for one whole cup of vinegar so you're going to be using a lot more vinegar than baking soda or dish soap. So keep that in mind when you're making it. Um, but you're going to have to <laughs> have fun and try depending on the size of your volcano well. Um, also keep in mind when you're doing your eruption, you might want to do it closer to the date of our presentations just because vinegar doesn't always smell the best. <laughs> An option for your presentation is if you want to try the eruption for that, you can, but um, please use Flipgrid if you want to do it before, because we really, really, really want to see your yes. eruptions. And thank you for those of you that put your uh, lava lamps on Flipgrid already. So um, that's pretty much what we have left for the volcano. This is your time to just be super creative, have lots of fun and have fun experimenting. Again, this is just stuff to get you started. Um, we got all of this stuff from the Dollar Tree. So if even if you were, you were able to do an eruption with this and you wanna do it again, yeah. go ahead, get more baking soda, more vinegar, more soap, more paint, maybe do different colors. See what we want to do with mixing colors. Yep, the sky's the limit. And most of these things can be found in your family's pantry just make sure you ask first definitely and yeah that's that's about it for the eruption all right let's get on up we should make this one louder <laughs> yes we're gonna make this one super loud we've got a little fun song for you guys today excited about if it that. hadn't been for cotton eye joe i've been married a long time ago where did you come from where did you go where did you come from cotton eye joe if it hadn't been for cotton eye joe gets me right so next we're going to talk about our mini project our official mini project for this week 
Now this week we are doing paint rockets. Get your plastic baggie, the one that the lava lamp stuff came in, and you'll actually be using the other stuff this week. So inside you have these two little capsules that help you. You do. can just with your thumb push it up and it'll open right up. Oh yeah. So you'll have two of these, the rest of your Alka Seltzer. Because remember you saved one. And then whatever color paint you want. So we have, we gave you paint that you can use as well and water, you will also need water. And the last thing you'll need is the second piece of poster paper mm -hmm. that we gave you. Um, it, I think it was bundled in, it was either bundled in with the other color that you used for it was separate, it was separate? Mm -hmm. just kidding it was separate so you use your last piece of poster paper you'll want to flatten this out actually so i'd open this first and flatten it out like i would even give it a whole day and stack some books on it or you can maybe use some masking tape and tape it to the floor because you're going to want to do this outside now yeah. now we'll go ahead and explain it to you without showing you and then we'll show you a cool video so you can see how it goes. So what you'll do is you are going to get a separate cup. So it could be a Dixie cup, it could be a disposable cup, a solo cup, anything that you wanna use. It could even be a regular cup because um, this paint is washable and you are going to mix the paint and the water together um, so that it's a paint water mixture. And you're going to do two parts paint, one part water. So if you're gonna use one cup, that, and that's your one part, then two parts would be two cups. If you're gonna use one tablespoon, that's one part, and two parts would be two tablespoons. So you can use whatever measurement you wanna use, but one part means one of those, two parts means two of those. Now for this, you probably won't need a cup of paint and two cups of water or however much. Um, you could probably do maybe a tablespoon. Um, I'd start with a little first and then gradually get more. Um, but it's going to be easier to have your paint water mixture done first. And then what you're going to do <laughs> is you are going to fill this up between one quarter of the way full and one third of the way. Full. And then what you will do is you will take your Alka-Seltzer and thank you to Miss Jen for letting us know um, when you do your piece, you want to break it up into smaller pieces so that the chemical reaction will distribute so you can build the gases build up more and i'll kind of go more into that right now but what you'll do is you'll take your one piece of alka seltzer and you can cut it in one half or into quarters so into four pieces if you wanted to do that you can put a half in each of these and then maybe rinse it off if you want to do a new color um, and then use it till it dissolves or you can put it into a quarter and then do the same thing um, depending. Yeah. So it's up to you, but I wouldn't put the full thing in there. So in case you didn't hear that, you can use the same piece over and over again until it's gone. So you can do the same experiment with the same piece of Alka-Seltzer. If, if it's still in there, it will still do the reaction. Yeah. You see how it's running? It's like thicker than water, but not a lot thicker than water. So it's pretty runny. It's, it's And for that one, I did one part paint, one part water. Yeah. So you can do a little bit more paint if you don't want it to be that liquidy. And you'll see why the, uh, it being too liquidy when we show you what uh, how it explodes. You'll see the type of explosion at the bottom. Um, more paint means it's a little bit more, th it's a little bit thicker. Um, so mm -hmm. it might splatter in a different way. Yes. We're gonna show you guys what <laughs> Miss Cora discovered with Miss Sarah today. This was my first time doing it and I absolutely loved it. Put it in okay. the tablet, put the top on, turn it upside down. <laughs> Notice Miss Sarah steps backwards as well. Yes. Please be safe. Bigger. Yep, slowly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah. So why do you have the poster board, because that's where you're gonna do your art. That is your launching pad. So you're gonna place your canister maybe in different spots and see what the explosion does to different parts. And you're maybe you try to create something. Maybe you have a plan. Maybe you're just a free spirit and you wanna see what happens when, you, when it explodes. It 
all depends on your style and how you want the experiment to go. So just remember, make sure it's really closed. Make sure you put it upside down because if you put it this way, the explosion will pop the cap off, but it won't go anywhere. There won't be a rocket. It'll just go 